Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how I gesso a canvas. You can see on the screen there I have the tools that I'm using in this video. Uh, I do have both two stretch canvases as well as a canvas panel. The gesso that I'm using here is just some gesso from Hobby Lobby. It's nothing expensive. This is what I do on my initial coats of gesso. Uh, when I get farther into a painting I will transfer my sketch or sketch on the canvas and then I will use a coat of Liquitex clear gesso that I do not show in this video. Here you can see that I'm just using a putty knife to stir the gesso up. This gesso was brand new but it had been sitting for a while, it got a little bit cold. So I wanted to make sure that it was going to be good to use and it's really good. Starting off here, I'm just going to dip my roller in there, make sure I got a decent coat. And for the first layer here, I'm just going to make sure I stay very vertical from your view. Up and down, making sure I lay on a nice even coat. I'm going to try to get as much covered on this first coat as I can, so that way the next two coats we do, we don't have to be as worried about getting a good coverage on there. You can see I'm just going back and forth, rolling down the high spots, making sure I got a good solid coverage. When the gesso starts getting low on the roller, I'll just dip in, get a little bit more. Like I said, I'm trying to make sure that I lay on a really th pretty thick coat this first time around, just to make sure we have you know a good 95% of our coverage done. Nice and flat, keep everything nice and smooth. You will get some bubbles to pop up. Just keep going over them. Make sure you're nice and good to go. Dip in. Now I'll head into the 12 by 24 canvas panel. Uh, obviously, this is a little easier gesso than the stretch canvas because it's, it's not moving. You're just dealing with a panel here, so you can go a little bit quicker on this, even though it's larger. Once we're done with our first layer, I'll bring out a normal hair dryer and just dry what we've already done. You do not have to use a hair dryer to dry in between coats, however, it greatly reduces your drying time. You'll see here we're going to add a second layer two to three minutes after stopping our first one whereas if you did not use a dryer and you just let them dry on your own you'd probably be waiting I'd say at least two to three hours in between. The other thing you have to be cautious of is after we are all said and done with the three layers we're going to add today uh, they do recommend waiting 24 hours before you paint on the canvas. Even though I am using a hair dryer I do not plan on painting on these canvases for at least 24 hours just to be on the safe side. One thing you can't see from watching the video are the spots that are wet versus the spots that are dry. When you're actually doing this on your own, if you look at the canvas on a little bit of an angle, you'll be able to see what is still wet and what has already dried. That way you'll know where you really need to focus before moving on to the second layer. Once things are thoroughly dry and you're ready for your second layer, just go ahead and grab your roller and get going. What we're going to do this time is, from your perspective, we're going to do a completely horizontal layer. So same as the first layer, we just make sure we have enough gesso on our roller, rolling out nice, even strokes, paying attention to anything that bulks up from the end of that roller there, making sure we stay nice and flat, get everything nice and smooth as we go on. As I said earlier, I'm not going to worry as much on the second and third layers here because the first layer was our real go-to layer. We wanted to make sure we covered a majority of it on that layer. So this second and third layer, this is just added protection here, just trying to make sure that we got everything. Now you can kind of see, even though the gesso is white, you can kind of see where we are and where we're not. And then just notice, just keep smoothing everything out. Make sure you get all the way to your corners, all the way to your ends. Get a nice smooth layer built up. You'll see here that as I go back and get more gesso on the roller for the 12 by 24 canvas, I take that initial roller and kind of spread it out through the canvas. This gives you some chunks throughout the canvas that you can just go back and roll over. Makes it a little easier to keep everything spread out. Makes it a little easier to get even when all is said and done. Once we're done with our second coat, it's back to the hair dryer to get everything dried off once again. Since you get the gist of this from the first section, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward until we get to our third coat.
Now that we've got our second layer dry, I'm going to go in for our third layer. You can see here I'm going in on a 45 degree angle. Since we hit it vertically, then horizontally, and now at a 45, we're pretty much guaranteed to get all surfaces of that canvas covered. One thing you'll see coming up here is that I find a little bit of debris on the canvas that I just remove with my gloved hand. That is why I keep a glove on one of the hands through the process. So in case I do get anything on there, I can grab it, wipe it off, and then just smooth over once again. Now, being that I'm using a roller here, it does keep everything nice and smooth. If you are applying gesso with a brush, you're more likely to get high and low spots throughout the canvas. If that were the case and you did not want any texture in that canvas, you would have to go in with a piece of sandpaper, a higher grit, I'd say a 180 or a 220, and just lightly sand in between your coats. Some people do this even if they don't really find any high and low spots just because they're really trying to get that surface as smooth as possible. It's all a matter of personal preference and for me going in with the roller keeps everything nice and smooth so I usually do not sand in between coats. Here I'm giving you a close up of the final steps on the 12 by 24 inch canvas panel. You can see the gesso rolling out very smooth. If you notice I'm taking my time making sure I get all the way across that canvas as well as making sure I'm extending out past those corners. Definitely want to make sure you do not miss anything at this step. You also notice that I'm taking the time to get everything off that roller as much as I can so we don't waste any gesso, making sure everything is nice and smooth before we wrap up and get to our final drying. Now that we're done with our third layer of gesso, I'm just drying the canvases one final time to get them ready to go. You could definitely let them air dry at this point if you do not feel like using the hair dryer. Another thing you could use besides a hair dryer that I did not mention earlier is a heat gun. Uh, it's really personal preference. The dryer is a little bit cooler so that's what I prefer to use. The last thing you want to do once everything is dry is just run your hand across each canvas. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. If you do find any texture that you do not want on there, just pull out a piece of sandpaper, like I said, 180 grit, 220, give it a quick sanding and you'll be good to go. Everyone, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, comment below, or send me an email. I will definitely get back to everyone who reaches out. Thanks, man. See you guys next time.